Concerns about fracking are widespread, both in and outside of First Nations communities, especially for people who live near those operations or right above them. So who decides the land that can be used that way? The CBC's Chris Brown looks at that angle. Consider these staggering statistics. 85% of natural gas wells in British Columbia are now hydraulically fractured or fracked. 8,000 are already out there and another 40,000 are potentially on the way. To them in northeastern BC, near Caleb Bain's home. Fractured land, fractured men. Um, I, I am profoundly torn. His conflicted feelings over fracking propelled Bain to go to law school. Anybody who can throw a hatchet and sue you is a force to be reckoned with. And to be featured in an upcoming documentary about the growth of fracking. The issue of contamination is huge and the fracturing of our landscape is huge. So what's happening to our territory is the same as what's happening to theirs. One of the contentious issues is, of course, who controls that development. Canadian law is pretty clear that the provincial government regulates what happens underground. Very little that a private landowner can do to stop uh, a company uh, from uh, drilling. When First Nations are involved, BC's Oil and Gas Commission, which oversees the industry here, told us, the Commission works closely with First Nations to establish negotiated agreements and memoranda of understanding, recognizing that these are the foundations for long, collaborative working relationships, which many believe isn't happening often enough. This is a crisis moment that, uh, that going forward it must be uh, about full partnership with First Nations. With Hundreds came out today in Vancouver to support the fight in New Brunswick. And there were similar scenes in Nova Scotia, in Alberta, and elsewhere. And yet, in B.C., there are also lots of examples of First Nations that enthusiastically support fracking. So Bain says his goal is a meaningful dialogue. United, my friends, united. On uh, this date, though, it's also about a message of solidarity. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.